you back to some more saga log um yeah we're we're out here today and honestly hashtag nervous as always why would i not be um that's uh, that's been the the, the the mantra of saga log lately is nervous but let's go ahead and go through a lovely team recap we have well about our lovely girl um with the moves of Agent Power for Stacia's friend, Lands Wrath, Lava Plume. We have Kaidi Girl, Limbero, Stone Edge, Sacred Fire, Guava Apple, Play Rough. We have Fruition with Spectre Thief, Shadow Ball, Rising Voltage, and Aura Sphere. We have Daddy the Machamp with Friend Guard, Baneful Bunker, Power Up Punch, Drain Punch, Slow Sweep. Nolan, the Wonder Guard version with Beat Up, Foul Play, Earthquake, and Place Kick. And last but not least, our final Pokemon. The lovely Satan. Of course, we brought him back. He had to be brought back. I'm sorry, but, like, we need to win this thing. And the way to win this thing is to just go with all that power that could be brought to Generation 9, if you guys so choose. Um, Well, you guys, probably not. But, yeah, it is very weird, though, I will say, to have Lunala as spot one. That's weird to me, not having Ye there. And it's still weird to me, but it is okay. It is what it is. But... Satan has positive attack, core fill ability, Spectral Thief, Heat Wave, Astral Barrage, and Draco Meteor. Yeah, this moveset's ridiculous. I understand that. That's why we added it. Because we learned it. Once once we learned it, could learn Astral Barrage. We were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no. Like, it had a uh, leech, leech life. I was going to say Leech Seed, and that's not the move I was looking for. It's like, yes, it had Leech Seed beforehand. I just literally said it wrong <laughs> almost did wrong then proceeds to say it wrong but yeah um so now for today's episode we get to do the finals which honestly if the finals are anything like the not finals the semifinals i'm gonna be a little bit sad i was that was the episode where i got saddened by literally all the generations because like bro why are we having stupid stuff but yeah so but what's crazy is this is theoretically the penultimate episode. I said it would be, so it better be, but... Look at me. I said it was, so it has to be. That's how that works. Uh, you can do it! Oh my gosh, guys! I believe... Got my Seahawk stuff on. We gotta do this. Okay. Wait, what is this? It's a nothing! Aw. I didn't want the nothing. Okay, who do I want to lead with is a good question. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna play it on the safer, safe-ish end. And go with Machamp. And here's why. So, Machamp is and fruition are the two pokemon that is are cannot go with me to scarlet and violet so if it's those two pokemon in the hypothetical scenario if we lose one of those two then you guys get to kill more things and that's just fun so as much as i love our boy daddy the machamp and Lunala, it's best case scenario if, oh, if we just do that. Hi. Sorry, but only authorized people are allowed to enter here. Fine, on the thing, it's whatever. So, yeah. Challenge John, we've been waiting for you since you've won your way through the semifinals. You must face off against the gym leaders in the finals, and they will not be holding back. Whoever makes it to the final bracket will win and have the right to challenge the champion. So you need to go to the locker room right now. Then I'll show you the way. Um, so yeah, so losing those two is not bad. Now they're all in here. Long time no see, this will be a different sort of challenge. A sort of battle than you faced in the gym challenge. These are test mass matches, but this is a serious battle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So who has the buy then if there's nine people? 
none of them, I guess, because that would be... Somebody's got to be out of this gym challenge. Will you be heading on, on to the pitch? The opening ceremony will be starting soon. Yes, ready. Then let's go. Like, who has... Who's, who's out? I would assume that it was Milo, but... It possibly goes without saying, but hello, Galar. I am your champion, Leon. The chairman is tied up with some business, so I hope that you guys... Wow, this is going fast. In order to lead you to greater heights as Pokemon trainers in the Galar region, the time has come to battle it out until the greatest challenger remains. So on behalf of the chairman, allow me to say the finals, let the finals matches begin. Okay, we didn't need to go like that fast, game. You were we, That was 30, 30 frames per second. Who was supposed to read that fast? Wait, you. Who's that? A moment, if I may. Does anyone here remember me? I am Bead, the challenger who was forced to withdraw from the gym challenge. Bead, the gym challenger, endorsed by Chairman Rose himself. I have a score to settle with the challenger, John, here. I'm aware that this is against the rules, but I must ask nonetheless. Let me battle him. I'll stake my career as a challenger on this battle. If I lose, I'll retire from being a trainer. When an unexpected turn of events, former Challenger Bead has come for the one last battle. We are currently debating on what to do with Challenger Bead. To all our viewers, both here in the stadium and at home in front of the telly, we ask you, please be patient. I know it's ridiculous of me, but I had to say something, do something. Ever since you showed up, everything I've done has gone wrong. It was Elenia who asked me to gather the witching stars for the chairman, but then the chairman himself disowned me, and then... That strange old lady comes out of nowhere and drags me into boot camp on a fairy type Pokemon. Do you have any idea what I've been through? Covered in pink, dealing with quizzes and battles with fairy type Pokemon every single day. And here I am pouring my heart out to you. And when I've never lost my cool before, we've reached a decision, ladies and gentlemen. Champion, the champion himself has accepted Bead's sudden interruption. The champion showing his love by giving every trainer a chance to go stronger. It is our true. Or is it a trial for Challenger John? My will hasn't been broken yet. Yeah, um, this still doesn't answer the question. Who is getting double eliminated? Because somebody has to be getting eliminated in order for me to slot in because there's nine P-Ball still, and even at ten, it doesn't make sense. There's gotta be then two people going on a bye week, which is possible. That actually could be possible well no not even because it had 10 p at a t on a 10 person bracket it'd be the one seed the two seed and then groups of two groups of two that'd be like two bye weeks and that's kind of busted if i don't say so myself but um also love the fact that you love with a mess Brit. that's so kind of you um you're the best bead I, I don't i didn't know if you know that but like leading with a second type pokemon is so great it's almost like you knew I was leading with my champ, and I love it. Every minute of it. Sword stance. No, gravity. I mean, I'm still, like... This beat-up strategy is not even bad. Okay, it is kind of bad. <laughs> but it is a strategy that I have to take, so... Flinch. Flinch. Got it. And here's the cool thing about it is if uh, if the King's Rock is easy to attain in Generation 9, then I can repeat this strategy over and over again. Just without the fear, or with the fear of no Wonder Guard. But even then, is the fear of Wonder Guard even matter at that point if I'm getting a flinch 66.6% .6 of the time? No, not really. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fun. Um, It is what it is, though. So, Nolan gets the level up. Same with Katie Girl. Same with the Machamp. Ninjask. Mm. That I'll switch out on because I got Katie Girl. And Katie Girl will just blow this thing out of the water.
It's a ninja. It hits offensively or defensive or yeah, physically offensively. So if it hits me with like a scald or something weird, it, I don't worry. I'm not worried about it. We haven't seen scald, so X scissor. Yeah, that's what I expected. That's gonna do nothing. <clears throat> Actually, I probably should have gone with fire move. Now thinking about it, but I tried to go for the straight Oko. Serena. I really should have gone with the fire move now. Um, I'm going to play it safe and go with Satan. As much as I want to stay in, and again, it's physically attacking grass move, but... I mean, when you have a Garatina, why not use the Garatina? Especially when Garatina has Heat Wave. That was literally that was literally my thought process on them. If Garatina has Heat Wave, why not use it? Cause that should Oko Serena. No, okay. That's gonna do nothing though. So like thirty damage, maybe. Just about. I mean, see, now I'm using another Pokemon that I'm comfortable with. Wow, that almost like it makes it stop, makes it so much easier. Astral Barrage. Might as well. See what this thing does. I don't have the, like, Grimne or whatever Nay is. So. Even though that would be kind of cool. That would also be extremely busted. Rhyperior is next. Uh, I send in whale about because I don't have a grass type anymore. Oh my gosh, that felt weird. Ugh, not having okay, but anyway, whale about 170 base power attacking. It's a physical move, but it's 170 base power. Like this has got to chunk down a Rhyperior. Even though Rhyperior's thick boy, this got to do it. This got to do something. I don't think it'll low cow, but. Oh, no, it does. Okay. Oh, yeah. With, I mean, without Solid Rock, I guess that makes sense. Sent to Scorch. I'm staying in on that. I don't think I'm faster than Sent to Scorch, but I'm going to try it anyway. No, I'm not. Icicle Spear. I mean, still, though. Can you not hit five times, please? That would be great. This is still going to chunk for some decent damage. I think like 70%. Oh, dang. It's an Oko still. Okay. Whale about. Look at you go, buddy. Mr. Rhyme. Let me just go back into Katie Girl. And then do we go Ice or Fire? I'm going to go Fire. That's the more reliable attack. Ooh, this is the Dyna as well. A Dynamax Mr. Rhyme, level 53. Electric Surge. Hmm. Still like the idea of going fire. Max Mindstorm would suck. That's the one we don't want to see, I think, out of anything. Max Mindstorm. Because this has some special defense. Or special attack, excuse me. Him, them shoes, though. Max, okay, we're setting up the hail. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that, but I also don't necessarily hate that either. We're keeping the, the not very effective typing active. Oh, it's a 2 KO. And we got the burn. Okay, so if it's a physical attack, then it's fine. Highly unlikely, though, with the roll being actually a positive roll. But still. 
Not gonna discredit the work that this thing did. Oh, it was a physical move. Unfortunate for it, but. Also unfortunate for Bede having to take that L. I couldn't win, but at least I was able to show everyone how great fairy types are. I mean, you got 6 out, my dude. Elenia did a lot better. Also, you didn't have a single fairy type, so. Well, I lost. Looks like Challenger Bede was no match for the Challenger John as his trusted team and his trusted team. Hey, Bede, that was some match. Don't retire. Just restart your career. But this isn't what I planned. If I was able to defeat you, then everything would be fine. Even if I lost, I was going to use retiring as an excuse to get away from the old lady. You just keep messing up my plans with everyone cheering me on like this. I have no choice but to continue my training as the fairy type gym leader. Though I suppose my talents, I'll be able to take over Opal in no time. The stadium was filled with voices cheering on these two young trainers. Now, Challenger John, please head back to the locker room so you can rest up for that from that unexpected match. Rather surprising the Challenger bead was to barge in like that. In any case, once you're ready, please head to the or to, onto the pitch. The finals are about to begin. I believe I got killed, but just in case. Yep, I did. Cool. Moving on. I'm just ready. I'm going to truck through this. We're going to do it. This is basically the Elite Four. The time is waiting for over the finals of the Champion Cup are about to begin. Two trainers face to each other to, in the first battle to the f or the first first battles of the first round. A challenger endorsed by the champion himself, Challenger John, and his opponent, the Raging Wave, the master of the water types, Nessa. I can tell you've grown far stronger since you faced me in Hellberry Stadium. I've got a hand and hand it to our undefeated champion. He's got a proper eye for talent too. But you're not the champion. You'll never become the champion either. Do you know why? Because I, Nessa, am going to defeat both you and Leon. I am not going to underestimate you again. I'll use Dynamaxes to wash out your, wash you out to sea and beyond the horizon. She's leading off with an executor, a regular executor, because again, we gotta lead off with a psychic type when I'm leading off with a champ, but it's fine, it's okay, it's whatever, but we got some good music going. So you might be disappointed, but I'm going to destroy you, essentially, is what she's saying. Okay, we got some more distracting music, because we need though that in my life here. Executor is not the kind of Pokemon I want to be fighting, though. I mean... Hmm... You know what would have been great? Leech Life. You know what I got rid of? That. Um... I'm going to continue this Play It Safe route. I think. Ah. No, there's no reason to. There's no reason to. I can go on the offensive. Might, might as well. Oh, that's great for me, actually. I can just switch into Nolan. Mm. Spiky Show, that's okay. That's a non-contact move I just used, so that's okay. Special moves, this is why we have them. I don't know if this is killing. It is. Okay, this is the turn that we should send in Nolan, I think, regardless of what comes out. Unless it's, of course, a fighting type, but... Fruition wants to learn Burning Jealousy. What is that? 70 base power, fire move. User attacks. This leaves all opposing Pokemon that have had their stats boosted during the turn with a burn. Hmm... We 
We have enough fire coverage. Oh, we're taking the future site. Cross soul. That's a Katie. That's a Katie. You know, I just realized I just sent in I think I win this 1v1 and I'm hoping, hoping I'm faster. I am not and this is a problem. That could have been bad. We just did the same amount to each other. Here's my only positive. It is forced. It is forced to recharge. We're going to change to grass. See what comes out after a change into grass. Pinkurchin. Yes. You know what we have? We have this Pokemon. His name is Whaleabout. He has Lance Wrath. Oh, I guess with our Assault Vester gone. Could Whaleabout be our Assault Vester? That's not a bad idea. Obviously, for this situation, having this off sand is better. But for longevity purposes, not a bad idea. Like, so much so that I think that we should do it. Like, maybe for the champion team build. Doug Trio. Could be Galarian. But I guess regardless, I still stay in. Because. Yeah, I mean, it's still super effective. Still Shadoko. Oh my gosh. Whale about almost died. Dude. Well, that would that should have been death to whale about. That should have been Death to Whale about right then and there. A power whip from a Doug Trio would 100% would have killed Whale about. I got lucky. I got lucky. Like, straight up. Jirachi. This is Nolan. This is Nolan because of the. We're going to play Jirachi's game with Jirachi, essentially. Jirachi's going to get her own game played back at her. Although, I feel like this is the... Oh, it's a shiny Jirachi, too. It's right before. Okay. We are going to play Jirachi's game back at it. I'm hoping that we can get to half, but I don't think we will. Five... Six. We dead. Flinch. Flinch. I don't know why that failed. I mean, it didn't matter. This thing wanted to take my Wonder Guard away. Again, it didn't matter. Because we have this anyways. But that would have been funny. If my Wonder Guard would have been taken away like that. We had a crit on the last one. That's the other thing too. Every every everything has a each hit has a roll and each hit can crit. So that's the crazy part about that strategy. Uh, Excadrill.
That's fine, actually. Because we have Machamp. It's a Dynamaxed Excadrill. Looks like I'm about to drown one last Pokemon before saving it. For the, I'm saving the best for last. Excadrill, which is not even a bad Pokemon, not gonna lie, but it's gonna die pretty quickly. And, like I said, Whaleabout should have died in this fight. 100%. Whaleabout should have died in this fight. So, I am so glad that did not happen. This is definitely to a KO thing. Okay. The fact of the matter is not the fact that the airstream happened. It's the fact that this is not the first. I don't know if that's special or physical. But I can't even play the risk. If it's special, daddy would die. <laughs> if it's physical, me swapping out doesn't matter. <laughs> I gotta do this. Nessa being really weird. I, I, oh, actually, Nolan could die too. I don't think you can flinch Dynamax Pokemon. I think they're immune to that. I think that it's immune to the... I want to know the flying move, though. I really do. I don't think I'm going to find out, but... It was physical. Also, no wonder I did so much. If she, I mean, the fa that that could have killed, or probably should have killed, or could have killed, not should have, if uh, there was no item. Unless she doesn't have an item, that's possible too, because it's a Dynamax, and so it might not have an item. You had no problem handling our surging might. It's no wonder that you won. And the winner is John. He defeated Nessa during the gym challenge, and now he's pulled it up again. You and your Pokemon are just too much. And even Dynamax partners are... You weathered our waves. Now, I can't talk. Now that I think about it, Sonia was saying something about how amazing you were. I wish I paid more attention to what she was talking about. I bet everybody in Gala has their eyes on you now. You defeated my team, so now you get to ride. You, and now you've got to ride the current all the way to the end. Now don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. The second battle of the first round will begin shortly. B is my next battle with a girl B. Actually, can we see this? No, we can't. Gosh, dang it. I think Milo did sit out, though. Oh, we're healed again. That's right. Um, but like I was saying, I'm very keen to the idea or uh, very not keen. Is keen the right word? I'm very okay with the idea of having a V check held item. No. Somebody have the AV that I don't remember having the AV? Huh? 
that. Oh, that's right. Katie has it. Katie already is having it, holding it. Okay, that's what's going on. That makes more sense. I was like, this, somebody's got to have it then. Because I have to have been using this. Yeah, Katie. And it makes way more sense for Katie to have it. Because Katie changes types. And, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, on the four remaining challengers, which two will be left for the last match. If you're turning in, ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing quite a surprise during the finals. Here at this year's Champion Cup, as the former champion challenger Bede stormed the stage, but John was having none of it. This year's top challenger made quick work of him before watching Waynessa. And on the other side, we have the Galar Prodigy. The Galar Karate Prodigy. Let's hear it for Gym Leader B, everybody. I promise you my attacks will shake every... Your soul every time. This time. Ugh, shake your soul this time. May the best trainer win. I mean, here's the thing. Like I said, this is essentially the Elite Four. But you just get healed in between. Because you were going to do it anyway. Excuse me. I hate they know that I led. Mm, that's frustrating. They're literally all sending out counters to Machamp. Immediately. You might have one win on me, but I didn't read it all. You guys got to. They all, like, are prep leading, and it's annoying. Okay. It's very annoying, because Marshadow is not. Let me repeat. Not a mon I want to be fighting. Marshadow. I cannot touch that. I can't touch it with Machamp. Super effective. Super effective. Super effective. Super effective. Wailabout is the only Mon on my team that does not get wrecked by this. Ooh! This is the Mon I don't want to see. And it's the one that we're seeing. So... It's either I force swap... Uh, you know what? I'm going to play it risky. I can't play it. I don't like playing it risky. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope to poison it. If it sets up, we're in danger. Um, so let's hope it doesn't do that. Hit me first, please. Do not set up. That was the worst case scenario. Oh, no. That was the worst case scenario. Oh no. I don't like that. Wait, is it actually worst case scenario? It probably is. Because I don't think Garatine is going to tank this. But under the possibility that Garatina tanks this. This allows Garatina to just... That's special. That's special. Oh my god, that's special. That's special. That's fine. 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 Oh, that could have been so much worse if B actually used a move that was physical. But she didn't. She played herself. She played herself. That could have been so bad. That could have been the end of the run. That that right there could have been the end of the run. There would have been nothing we could have done to stop that thing. And that thing could have ravaged the entire team like that. But she chose a special move. She up hard. And she gave Garatina plus two plus two. Well, let's talk about that too. So. Now she gets to deal with a plus two plus two monster on the other side of the field. Flygon. Don't like that necessarily either, but it's fine.
core enforcer. That's okay. It's gonna be like 100 damage, maybe. Just about that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know if I'm faster or not, but I'm gonna Spectral Thief because I'm plus two attack. Getting chipped by the sandstorm is never fun. Um, Bronzong, that's fine. We stand. We chip. We're chilling. We've got this essentially. I think we got this in the bag. Um, B misplayed her lead and we flipped flopped on her. So, although that King Shield sucks because of course you had King Shield. Only dropped by one in this generation, so not that harsh of a penalty. But she's stalling, and I don't like that. Bye, Sandstorm. Have a great day. Con Calder. That's fine. I'm going to play it safe, though, and heal. I think that's a, the best option. Because I'm not quite sure if Astral Barrage will kill. Because Conkeller special defense is doo doo. Doo doo butter. So obviously I gotta click that. No, I don't. Because, um, yeah, no, we're not getting mirror coded to Oblivion. I'm sorry. That's not happening. Heal for safety purposes. I swear if you counter. A counter doesn't matter. Mirror code does. Thank you, mirror. Or thank you, uh, whatever. Um,. Having to heal for saving me from Miracle disaster, Destiny Bond the Miracle. You know that would just that would just be how I lose Pokemon. Destiny Bond, Miracle, other stupid things like that. Yeah, living on one because <laughs> no, that would have literally just happened. It would have lived on one and Miracle me. I'm thank you healing, saving my life from disaster. I would have been so upset. I would have been... Ooh. It would have not been a good day. And the fact that we have a Raihan right after this too and we can't leave, like, nope. Barbarical. That's fine. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said, she, did, she didn't check herself before she wrecked herself. And yeah, it's just from here, there's really nothing that she can do other than, you know, live on one for no reason with literally everything. Because of course she wants to live on one with literally all her Pokemon. And her ace is a Primarina. Crap. Uh-uh. I'm not putting myself through max Starfall shenanigans. Um. Primarina is also kind of bad, though. I'm going to go with Fruition. Fruition's got the most special defense of the group. It's time to dig in our heels. I'm not giving up. Neither should you. I know. Primarine is going to be a little love bird. Oh, fine then. Just destroy everything with a Jigit Max. Yeah, this could be this could be dangerous. This is definitely dangerous territory. The we're dangerous game we're playing here. Oh my goodness. That's the dragon one. Of course she has the dragon one. 
Why would she not have the dragon one? Attack fell. But it was special. Huge. Water move. That's going to hit from way more damage than the dragon one did. One. What? Why did a Dynamax move just hit me for one damage? What could that have possibly been? One damage? But it was also type specific? Could it have been Rain Dance? Cause like what else would it hit me for one damage? What was type That is literally the only thing that comes to mind that could have fit under that criteria. First level 60, double kick. No. Your strength nearly made me want to turn around, turn and run in my bare feet. B has been defeated. Challenger John has shown his skill. Thank you for a wonderful match. I really enjoyed battling you and your team. I am upset that I lost, but I also feel satisfied and so refreshed. In a way, I guess you should say it's the best sort of match anyone could ever hope for. I hope you'll meet many more trainers and can do have many more matches in the future. And I hope that every one of those encounters will nourish your spirit. The next match will begin in no time, so stay tuned in your seat, folks. Okay, wait. Nessa, B, Gordy, Milo, Raihan, Piers, Kabu. Who's missing? Yeah. Um. So it was me. Okay. That makes more sense. It was me and Bede in the preliminaries to get into fighting Nessa, from fighting Nessa to fighting Bede. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. One thing I do wish and think would be super cool, and I so wish they added it, was an RNG thing where you could, you wouldn't necessarily know who you're fighting in what seeds. Like, you'd have, I know it would be a lot of intensive coding, and why would they do that? But, like, it would be kind of cool to, like, do that. Because it could be, like, it could, like, pick around a number between one and three. Here's the bracket. And then 50-50, like, literally make 50-50 chances of who they're facing. So that way that you don't know what to expect and what to come into. That would be cool. That that is something when that when that came out, I remember that being a question that I asked was, "Oh, is it randomized?" And they're like, "No, it's a set order." And I'm like, "Oh, boo. Uh, set order. Why?" Uh, and like it makes sense from a story perspective that you fight right on last. And that that one See, that one I wouldn't necessarily argue with, but also wouldn't it be cool to be like, "Oh, whoa, Piers is my actual final fight." Or Heck, oh my god, Milo literally comes out of nowhere and actually, like, does stuff with his grass-type Pokemon? Wow! Okay. Like, that would be cool. The problem is, is the faulty logic, I think, that would be, like, that would be sitting there. It'd be like, well, how did a grass-type trainer beat a fire-type trainer? And such, such and such. Which is where you would set the bracket to be a neutrality bracket. Oh my god, that's so difficult. I don't know what's neutral to my own game. Neutrality brackets. Aren't they lovely? I think they're lovely. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, like I said, that's Raihan's the only one that kind of has an advantage in a leg up. And it would. It would give Raihan a leg up, but still have a potential to be upset. 
I don't know. Or, if you did a neutrality bracket, then you have the real-time authority against Raihan. Wow. That simple? That easy? No, it's not really, because you lost another one of your neutralities. Um, because of the fairy type being gone. Because then you have to still deal with that firewater grass trio. Yeah. Okay. It'd be, it would literally just take explaining why you're leaving with the Toxapex. Why are you being that guy right now? I'm glad we led Whale about though. It's almost like Whale about was a good decision. Honestly, that whale about might be the goaded pick of the lock. Choosing to put whale about in the like actual spot. Look at that! Look at him, look at him go again. Whale about goaded. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Like the the most random addition. That gels the team just so well. Like it, if you look at this team, I think you see Whale about, and you're like, eh, it's that. That's that's like the bottom feeder of the team. Is it though? I mean, so far in this Elite Four, it's been Champ. Well, yeah. I mean, obviously, it, obviously. In this circumstance, I mean, if the quad weakness hurts it, yes, but doesn't a quad weakness hurt anything? That's why we have three of them. <laughs> Actually, do have three of them. Oh my god. I mean, well, I mean, here's the other, the only thing. Do we really count Katie as having a quad weakness Pokemon when it literally just turns into a dual or a singular typing a after the first hit? Special defense fell. <clears throat> so Raihan served no no chance the first time I fought him. Does the 6-8 genius serve no chance again? Mew. Possibly. I hate to say that that's possible, but you know, it kind of is. If Nessa was the best fight, that is going to be fudging hilarious. Like, if Elenia and Nessa end up being the best of the two fights, <laughs> it'll be one of those really tight moments. Speaking of a really tight moment. <laughs> Ran. You know, lovely boy whale about iron is doing his job. <laughs> okay, well about you just be perfect today. I guess. You're also the second level 60 Pokemon. I didn't even comment on that. No air balloon? No. Okay. Good. No pesky air balloon means that I can land Zarath. You do oblivion. We're gonna lose out all on, on our, all of our land Zarath, but to be honest, I don't see us using that much anymore. Two more. Wow. He was like a five in a fight, if that. And it's literally just waiting on animations if this stands. Victini, I stay in. And I hit with. Facetious Rend. Anyways. Thank you for giving me more defense. I appreciate that. Landsrath would have killed too, funny enough. So we would have actually used the Landsrath Psychic. That's gonna hurt. 
Okay, that didn't hurt as much. Ooh, that negative special defense does, though. So, let me get this straight. Well about in this fight, took down Heatran, Victini, and something else. Three Mons out of Raihan's five so far. Mian Shao. Mian Shao, Mian Shao, Mian Shao. Is the Dynamax? Because I said three out of five. You do realize I'm the great Haraihan, right? I'll be the one to bat beat Leon, so I'll first have to beat you. Mian Shao, not the final Dynamax, but one of the finals. Bring the storm, my partner will send everyone in the stadium flying! I used Astro, uh, did I use Astro Barrage? I hope I did. Well, this is gonna be fast, boy, so if I use Spectral Thief, I'm not gonna be mad. Max Knuckle. I mean, you're not going to do anything. Nice. Love it. I use Spectral Thief, which, you know, would have been good in most circumstances. Not in the circumstance when you're going against a Max Knuckle Pokemon, but, you know, that's fine, John. <laughs> you do you. Go against a Pokemon that literally can't touch you. Bye, Man Chow. <laughs> Raihan posed no threat. Raihan was the weakest of. <laughs> The fights. <laughs> okay. Losing in the finals is pretty rough, but I suppose I'd better take a quick shot and remember to remember it by Challenger John seizes victory. My lovely Pokemon and I have become much stronger than we were before, but you just blew right past us. Beyond anything I'd imagined, I'm pretty strong myself. Uh, I, or I'm still pretty young myself, but it goes to show that there are always s someone younger coming, coming up, reaching further than you could ever dream, and you've got a whole future ahead of you. Keep up the momentum and prove Leon is not unbeatable. Number 130, Challenger John has achieved the dazzling triumph. The trainer who has been endorsed by the champion will now face the very man who endorsed him. All right, the big moment is finally here, huh? I came to cheer you on, you know. Still not easy picking sides. After all, in the showdown between my big bro and my rival, who would I, should I really want to win more? Rillaboom. Rillaboom. Yeah, right. You reckon I should cheer John for John, too, don't you? Couldn't agree more. After all, we did start this thing out together. Way back in Potswick. You better be beat Lee. Let's you hear. If anyone is unbe the unbeatable champion, it'll be you, mate. Rilla boom, rilla 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 boom. Might as well do it. <laughs> Screw it. Are we healed up? Yes, yes, we are. The tents still air on the pitch, the exact opposite from the audience, cheering and yelling. They're both fantastic, wouldn't you say? But remember, the audience is also a bit cruel. And they want nothing more to see the one of us lose after all. It can fill you with fear knowing that, but I absolutely love pushing past the fear. I love giving it everything I've got as a trainer and seeing the team give everything that they've got to seize another victory. I am th uh, it's the greatest feeling in the world, and I can't get enough of it. I can feel my partners itching with anticipation inside of their Pokeballs. We're going to have a real champion time. I'm the Galar Region's champion, Leon. 
me and my Charizard, and all of the rest of my team will use all of our knowledge and experience to crush you completely. Wait, hold on! Hey, look at the monitor! What's going on on the big screen? Hello there, Leon and John. I'm just letting you know. I think it's time I've brought about the darkest day. For the sake of Galar's future, of course. I'm in a bit of a pickle. The energy released by the darkest day is too much for us to contain. I'm sorry I had to come to this, but it is you who forced my hand, Leon. You just refused to listen. Lee, John. The video stream. That was from Hammerlock Stadium, right? What in the world did the chairman do? I don't even know. But everything he's saying is it was saying yesterday. Did he really pull this crazy stunt to solve some problem that's a thousand years in the future? I've gotta go. See what's going on. I am the champion after all, so I have to go. Should have realized what the chairman intended to do before it came to this. And I'll take responsibility for fixing this mess. This is <laughs> the real champion time having to do work. <laughs> but Lee, your terrible directions. What if you get lost along the way? I want to help my brother. I've got to. But I can't even manage to beat you, so what, is, what sort of help will I ever be? You can help. Easy for you to say. Hold the phone. The chairman was talking about the darkest day. And that thing where the sky... Is that, was that the thing that's where the sky went all dark once ages ago, right? What does he mean? He's bringing that about. And where did he even hear that name? Back in Monostoke. That statue of the hero in Monostoke. Sonia said something about back then, didn't she? Though it turned out to be wrong since there were actually two heroes and all that. Still... The two managed to bring the end to the darkest day with a sword and the shield Pokemon. Sonia thought the Pokemon might be able to be sleeping somewhere though, right? We should find them, John. W but where to start looking? Stumbling Wild. That's it! I'm sure it's gotta be the Slumbering Wild. The illusion you tried to fight off that day. It must have been one of the Pokemon that are supposed to be sleeping there. Let's go back to Slumbering Wild. If we're lucky, we'll even be able to find something that can help. Back in the slumber and wow. Huh? John and a hop. Ah, uh, I completely forgot about the champion match. What are you two doing here? Haven't you been watching the news at all? The tournament is off, Sonia. The chairman saw to that and to sending the entire region into the state of havoc. Huh? What? What happened while I was researching things in the Slumbering Wild? Oh my god. Well, for starters, there's a great black storm, something raging over Hamelock Stadium. They call it the darkest day. It's thrown everything into disarray. I'm still, still, I'm sure we won't need to worry too much. The unbeatable champion will be able to take care of everything, won't he? Hold on a tick, ma'am. Did you say the darkest day? The darkest day is the name for the black storm that nearly brought the Galara region to ruin in ancient times. So what are you here for, John? I'm here to stop the Darkest Day. To stop the Darkest Day? You mean you're going to search for the sword and the shield Pokemon? Okay, here, take this. You should head to the Slumbering Wield. I'll catch up with you once you're done looking into <laughs> something that's been bothering me. Here, have some more pointless items you can't use. Well, oh my gosh, there's still more. Okay. I didn't realize that going into this would... Get, get into a bunch of exposition. My bad. All that matters is you do what you can. You become a fine Pokemon trainer after all. Ready for this, John? I wonder if we're going to be able to head straight into the Wall of Fog again. Not that it bothers us now. We're both grown loads stronger and so have our Pokemon. Going into this forest after Wulu that day. That was the start of everything, wasn't it? A legendary beginning, really. I reckon how... I reckon whatever we're about to see is pretty legendary itself. Let's head in and add another page to our tale. I agree. On the next episode 
of the Saga Log after this hour of power that was unintentional because of Expose. Um, we will be doing the Slumbering Wield, taking care of Eternatus, and doing the Champion Battle. The end of Galar is here, and holy Toledo, Batman. Yeah, it is what it is. I can't wait to see how this adventure ends.